Hey everyone! Obviously I'm still a little bit sick, which is why, I, well, one of the reasons I haven't been vlogging much um, for the past couple of days, uh, partly because I don't have much of a voice to talk with, but also because I haven't been doing anything for the last, I've just been staying in and trying to get healthy. Um, I had a really, really, really bad, like, sinus pressure a couple of days ago, so I could, like, barely sit up without, um, I don't know, like, getting that, like, fuzzy vision thing, and that's not really exciting to see, so I kind of just, like, locked myself in, not locked myself, I'm not Rapunzel, um, but I just kind of, like, secluded myself in my apartment, and I've been eating soup, uh, but I got tired of soup, so I went grocery shopping, and I won't make you sit through everything that I have, but it's pretty much a lot of produce and cereal, and I also got myself a big-ass jar of Nutella, because it's my birthday tomorrow, and even though I'm pretty sure I'm still going to be a little bit sick, I'm going to treat myself to some birthday crepes. And the most decadent thing that I can think to put on birthday crepes, at least the thing that I can afford, is Nutella and bananas. And I think I have some creme au beurre, like salted caramel sauce. Um, oh, I didn't get any whipped cream. That's okay, I don't need that much sugar. It's already a lot of sugar. Um, so that's the plan for tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon, my friend Addie is taking me to a tea salon. We're going to have tea and cakes. And then for dinner, um, my friends and I, my close friends here, and I are going to this restaurant called Frog Burger, where they do like really American style like burgers and fries, and they sell beer, and they do sweet potato fries, which I'm excited about. I can't even squeak about it, but I'm really excited about it. Um, and tonight I'm going out. To, I know I shouldn't go out because I'm still sick, but it's the night before my birthday and I won't be held in any longer. Um, so I'm going to a bar with uh, a bunch of my lecteur lectrice friends and um, some other people that I know around Paris. Uh, and I think it'll just be like a good hangout. I might be able to film some of that. Um, another thing is I got a delivery slip in my mailbox today. <laughs> Um, my parents sent me a care package like two weeks ago, and we were wondering about how long it would take to get here. What with all of the recent um, stirrings going on in France, we thought that the, the mail process might have been slowed down a little bit. Uh, turns out it took about two weeks, maybe a little bit more. Um, and so I went over to the mail uh, to the post office to pick up my box, and they were closed, and they're not going to be open again until Monday. So which is the day after my birthday, so I won't get it until the day after, but it's, I'm going to think of it as just like prolonging my birthday because it'll be like a present from my parents. Um, so that's, that's, yeah, I think that's all of the updates that I have. Oh no, I got my work schedule for the new semester um, at the Sorbonne, and I have Mondays and Tuesdays off, and then on Wednesdays I work from like 3 until 8 p.m., and then on Thursdays I work from like 9 until 3, and then on Fridays I work one hour at 9 a.m. And then I'm done. So I sent, like, if it weren't for that one class on Fridays, I would have a five-day weekend. Which I'm really, really, really not upset about, because it means that I can spend the weekends traveling or working, as the case may be. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a really, really manageable semester. I'm sorry, my voice sounds so weird. I should talk in a lower register. That makes it sound normal, right? Right. Um, yeah. So, that's really, I think, all that I have to update with on, on behalf of, I can't English anymore, and I verbed the noun. See? I think I should take a nap before I go out, and then eat a, a good balanced dinner, and then probably not drink too much tonight, because it's more of a social event than an Im imbibing, imbibitory event. Ooh, imbibitory, is that a word? <sighs> to the dictionary. But in the meantime, uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye! Birthday outfit! I know it's lame to do an outfit thing, but I'm proud of it! So, braided bangs, because uh, I don't want my bangs to get all like sweaty and distorted, um, into a high pony. And then giraffe scarf, because um, why not? Also, because if I have a coughing fit, 
in the middle of the bar because I'm still a little bit sick. I do not want to be spreading my germs all over the place. I need something to like cough into. Uh, black t-shirt, jeans, soon to be green converses, and colorful nails, and happy attitude. So let's go party. Woo! As I predicted, I did not film anything while I was out tonight, um, partly because I didn't really want to violate my friend's um, privacy without their permission, and it felt like a weird time to ask, like, hey guys, do you mind if I whip my camera out? And also because it was just a really fun time, and I didn't really think much about you know, getting my camera. Uh, so to sum up the night, I met up with some friends. We hung out uh, at a bar called Coolin's Pub, which is like an Irish bar in the 6th arrondissement. Uh, so kind of central-ish in Paris. Um, and drank some adult beverages and talked and chatted, and then around, I guess around 11, or maybe 11.30, the floor, the restaurant slash pub turned into, like, a dance floor, so we were dancing for a little bit, and it was really, really fun, uh, you know, jigging and getting down and all of that with your friends, and just kind of shimmying and being silly, and, you know, joke dancing and all of that. Uh, and then <clears throat> it gets to a point, you know, every night out gets to the point where, like, you get the creepers. Um, so we decided it was time to go, and we all got home safe. It was a really amazing night. I had so many friends and coworkers turn up and, you know, hanging out and spending time together with one another and just, um chatting and catching up with each other, because some of us hadn't seen each other since before the holidays, and we were all talking about life and such, and it was, it was so nice to have everybody together, and uh, wishing me a happy birthday, and uh, spending time with me, really, it's a really great way to bring in my birthday, um, I had a couple friends buy me drinks around the time of like midnight-ish, like officially my birthday, and uh, my friend John went up to the DJ uh, like a couple minutes after my birthday and asked for like a birthday shout out, so I got a birthday shout out in French, <laughs> and it was really cool, and everybody was like like smacking me on the back and, and all of that, it was, it was nice. Uh, it was really, really, really fun. I think it was probably the best way that I've celebrated the the turning of the date, as it were, in a really long time. It was really good fun. So tomorrow I'm going to be meeting up with some friends and hanging out, having tea, having dinner, skyping with my parents, um, sleeping in, <laughs> which is going to be nice because... I am being a good person and drinking lots of water, and I'm going to go to sleep pretty soon. Um, and so, if on the off chance you are one of the people that I was out with last night, thank you for an amazing, amazing, amazing night. It was brilliant. And whoever you are, if you were with me last night, slash tonight, or not, I love you and thank you.